Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at a game called Whistle Stop. It is basically a little cute train game where the train components are so <laughs> looking like candy you really want to eat them. So let's get down to the table and let me show you what's inside this box. Okay, so let's peek inside this box and see what we get. And I find it very hard to open it. So first of all, you have the rules as per usual. And as you can see, there's no that many rules. Most of these are just explanations of how the special tiles work and upgrades. Basically, this is the gameplay and that's that. So yeah, there's really no that many rules to this game. And next thing we have is this board. And let me just quickly show you. So you will have to connect it like so and you're probably wondering why are you have to do it like so why why is that oh, oh sorry that's wrong <laughs> now this one goes over here and this one goes over here and so you'll have to train you'll have some trains starting from these locations and you will use most of these tiles and then build your railroads and move your trains all over this place however they move and try to get to the end of the road where you will have some end scoring places here and you will get some points throughout the game and the player who has the most points is the winner now what else you have in this box let me back to this one so yeah you get a bunch of these tiles and these are the main mechanic of the game you will be playing these tiles on the board and you don't want to end up at the end of the game with these tiles that have this black border because that's negative points but if you have this one, that's okay. So you will be collecting these resources. There's like brown resource and gray now. They have the name like coal, wood, stuff like that. But you just call it brown, red or blue. As in most of these games you do when you get cubes. So not, not that that's a problem or anything. So you get a bunch of these. Now these uh, dark green, all these are light green. As you can see, there's like a bunch of tiles in this game. And you get these dark green tiles and these are those end game at the end of the road when your train finishes here you will get 20 points if you can pay these or you will get minus five points if you don't but you can get some extra rewards here so yeah you put some of these at the end of the track to score points that way i just keep them in a bag separate so i can easily locate them when i need to so yeah and you get a bunch of these cubes and these are not your standard five millimeter cubes these are a little bit bigger chunkier which is super awesome and these are basically resources that you will be using throughout the game to get some points on on these uh, tiles and stuff like that so each player will get one of these i know these are not the candy they really look like candy they have that washed look but overall you get trains depending how many players you are playing you get more or less of these little trains and just a little score marker so yeah that is that let's continue uh, and cardboard for this i didn't mention but cardboard is really nice thickness it is fairly thick it is not the thickest cardboard ever but it's not that flimsy little it's really sturdy cardboard which is super awesome because you have to make this map work and show how it looks and everything so is super cool so you get these gold nuggets that you can collect throughout the game and they have different values you will take them randomly so you maybe get five points or you maybe get three points there is some randomization in here by that then you get these whistles and in this game when you move your trains you can only move forward to the end of the track and with the whistles you can go back and stuff like that go to spaces or jump over other trains and different things and then you get these coal tokens as you can see a lot of coal tokens because in this game you can play you will keep your coal and whistles over here and these are your player board so to say and uh, you can you cannot have more than uh, 10 the resources on your board and you can have only four coal or whistle in combined so you can play only four times on your turn use them for whatever you wish to use them for and then you have to pass and give other player a turn and you will get some gears here which i will show you in a minute these are some special abilities that you can have throughout the game that no other player can use 
unless they are buy that from you so these are not yours forever when you take them and when we are talking about them let's let me show you these gears so these gears give you some special abilities you can uh, buy this one for two coal and you will get three points if it's at your uh, player board at the end of the game and uh, this is a coal car so when you get coal you will basically get two coal not one coal and this is an extra boiler that gives you to have uh, five of these tokens if i'm not mistaken i didn't play with all of them these are randomly selected you don't play with all of these you select just a few this one happened to never popped up which is super weird i thought i saw them all so yeah you get these uh, to give you some variability among other players so you can do some stuff better than them and then you can as in every train game you have stock market and you can get these stocks depending which uh, of these uh, companies are on the board when you get over there and you pay the resources they are looking for you get these stocks and whoever has the most of these at the end of the game will get some points that way and yeah that is that that's everything that comes in a box of whistle stuff okay so that was whistle stuff and first of all i must compl give compliments to the artwork because this artwork this is something i am always looking for in the games this is something i'm always glad to see like these nice artwork with with uh, even though the, the this train components kind of have that washed color look but overall everything looks super cute besides the artwork uh, this is this game is the main example why you have to play games few times if you don't like it on the first time because first time i played it i really didn't like it i really thought it was like eh, an okay game nothing much to see here but then i played it the second time the third time and the third time i played it i was absolutely in love with it this game is so much fun it's super awesome i really like how it works how everything does now uh, moving those trains uh, when you move those trains around that board and trying to mess with, with each other you see some people like oh they want to go there and you go first and then you stick that train and don't leave that don't leave that station because you keep them blocked now because you know they really want that resource that train is holding up it is like super awesome and then those uh, trains that uh, those uh, map that you are building and then trains trains going over from one side of the map to another and you are the one that is building that map it's just phenomenal i really like this game i am so much enjoying it when i play it and the artwork itself as i already told you at the start of this review is super awesome i like it so so much and uh, overall it is super awesome game i really like it special powers everything how it works now there is one teeny tiny thing that i don't like about it but hey it is what it is you can't do nothing about it and that is the setup the setup is kind of wonky you have to fiddle a little bit you cannot just bust open the box and lay out the board and start playing the game you have to do some fiddling and handling but overall it is worth it is really worth your time because this game is super awesome super awesome and if i would have to rate it i would rate it nine out of ten gluten-free lettuces because lettuce is green and all this is green and you saw those tiles all those tiles are green everything is green here so yeah uh, i give it a 9 out of 10 uh, gluten-free lettuces definitely check this one out if you like train games but you don't like that convoluted 19xx stuff you like more of the easy to play games and you like trains so check it out definitely until next time Pozdrav. This video was brought to you by filibertnet.com, the game in all its states.